so coded inequality is very easy topic um, you can solve it general approach also or maybe uh, the approach which I am going to tell you now so basically you have to memorize this flowchart again lot of memorizing but yeah if you can save some two or th three minutes in your exam then this is not a bad deal so mark see my arrow signs do not mess it up so this is your basically your flowchart that's all you have to remember and it becomes so easy to solve coded inequalities that you don't need even to worry anything you don't need to think because this will cover everything so now what is this this part is greater than equal to this part is less than equal to this part is less than and this part is greater than see you don't need to interchange anything whenever you make this diagram in your sheet so all the arrow sign all these four and these two should remain like that otherwise you will make mistakes if anything you change or anything you interpret from this flowchart you're not going to get any right answer and if you stick to this method maybe you can uh, with practice little bit of practice you can uh, orally maybe you can do that questions within seconds so all you need to understand this diagram I will explain you in detail even using some questions some doubts which will not be covered into any videos which you will see on YouTube so now see this question in this it's given m plus n means m is not smaller than n so it means m is greater than um, n so this plus sign you keep it here so at the rate m at the rate n is given m is neither smaller nor equal so it means it's greater so at the rate is here just put it there c is given as m c um, copyright n is given as m neither greater nor equal so it means less so copyright here and then m is neither smaller nor greater so it means equal to dollar neither smaller nor greater and m cross is given m is not greater than n it means m is smaller than n equal to n so so you'll put it here so once you have placed this all thing your game is over like you can because from now on you will just need to simply um, see the cases so before that I will explain you how can you make a movement obviously seeing these arrow signs or maybe like this you could have interpreted that there is something to do with the flow so basically if you want to flow from here to here you can go you can just go from here to here and stay here but if you are here and you want to go this part you can still go but you will come back here so it's like you can go there but you have to come back here because in the end it matters about the sign and you will seriously know that soon know that so what about if you are traveling from here to here you will go but you will come back because the sign is like that um, but if you want to travel from here to here it's not possible that is you can see from the diagram it's very easy or maybe from here to here so now let's think if you want to travel from here to this part not possible that's very simple or maybe from here to here not possible but from here to here yeah it's possible you will go there and stay there because the arrow sign will put you there but if you want to travel from here to here it's possible you can directly go and stay but if you travel from this part to this part you will again come back and stay so you will retain this sign you will understand this but for the now for the basic idea of the flow of diagram I have just explained you now let's solve the question okay so see the question so the first question uh, statements are given whatever is there we have to check imagine you have to check R at the rate s so the first thing is there is in the statement it's given s cross r 
so you will simply whenever your r is on the other side you have to maintain a flow this side so you can change from uh, this cross you can change the order but then you just cannot simply flip it right so if you mean if you want to write it like this from the statement it is given right this right the statement is mentioned so if you want r and s correlation like this this part so what you will do cross ke samne you see so in front of this cross you see the, like this so it's given plus so it means whenever you the thing so it means whenever you flip you will get the other sign in front of that okay so now um how you will write this or this side okay in front of this is given plus so in in our first statement you uh, you were asked to see the conclusion for r at the rate s but you are getting r plus s so first one definitely doesn't follow okay now check the second one x at the rate s now uh, just notice the pattern how it is moving from x it's w w to r r to s but you will maintain one single order i'll show you how x at the rate uh, sorry x copyright w w plus r and s cross r is given but i need r on our side so r cross we'll write plus s so now we can see x and s ka relation so this is the important part now so you have this copyright you have this plus and you have this plus so now you need to start moving come to the copyright first from copyright you have to go to plus can you go to plus from this no directly your second conclusion is wrong so both the conclusion 1 and 2 are false so neither conclusion 1 nor 2 follows okay so fourth is our answer but just be careful whenever you get um, a question where um, neither of them are following be careful and you see either one or two are following case can also occur i'll explain that in uh, that thing in a later part because right now i just need you to understand how this uh, flow chart is working so basically um, i think you have got how the movement of chart is working this is only the thing when we will keep on repeating this for the other one now we'll see the question 2 so the first conclusion given is m dollar r so how do we go from m to r m to l l to r okay so l plus m is given so we'll do m so plus ke samne is cross so m cross l and l at the rate r this is our flow so from this part you have to go to at the rate so come to cross and at the rate can you go no so the first one is not possible so now let's check for the other one second one which is given as r at the rate p so how you will go from r at the rate p l at the rate r is given and so let's start from here r at the rate this in front of that c is given copyright l okay l. so l plus plus m and then m dollar n n to p so m in n dollar m is on the other side so will reverse so dollar will remain dollar because this there is no reflection of them you will always see this part like this reflection you will do this kind of reflection you will not do for the middle because the dollar will remain same whatever uh, sign is there because it's equal to so m dollar n is done n dollar p so from c c plus dollar dollar so copyright copyright to plus obviously it's not possible so this is also both the conclusions are not following this example so uh, again answer is fourth if neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true now let's see the third question so the first statement is p at the rate w so we have to check what is the flow p to n n to w correct we got p copyright 
n and then w copyright n is there we have to reverse it so um, n in front of this is at the rate at the rate w so from copyright to w obviously not it's not possible so first conclusion is not following definitely following okay now let's check the second option second is n at the rate t how we will follow this n to p p to k no so n to w w to t so n at the rate w because i reversed that and w cross is there and you did opposite side so plus t correct at the rate to plus so from at the rate so you went here from at the rate to plus but you have to come down so at final sign will become n at the rate t this will remain wherever you are there it will remain there so this is given in our conclusion perfect so what is there option 2 is correct ki um if only conclusion 2 is true now see other question s at the rate v so how we will follow s to d and then d to r r to v okay so s copyright will be reversed to d d plus r and then r at the rate v so at the rate to plus yeah you can go and you came back and then from this part to at the rate so you will stay here only so at the rate d is coming out so yes this was our conclusion so this will follow so one follows definitely it will follow now let's see for the second one the second one is r plus n so r plus n um it will follow r to v v to n r at the rate v is given in the same order and v plus n is reverse so we'll reverse it to v cross and at the rate to cross so at the rate to cross is not possible so only conclusion one will follow so the answer is one so you see how easy it is to do once you get into practice you don't even have to think anything and just you will go and solve it okay now let's move on to our last question so you will get the understanding and maybe in our uh, later video i will show you how to check when you get none of them is there so this video you just go back relax and um, watch it and then um, try to practice in some of your question so it's given m copyright p so m to j no n to k k to p right k dollar m so it's reverse it again there will won't be any effect m to k k cross p so dollar to cross dollar to cross correct and you will stay there only because that was a movement so you will get m cross p okay so now but this is not the conclusion right you are getting a conclusion as c copyright now the thing is this will not definitely follow correct so you are just getting m cross p will uh, note down that thing for later reference m cross p you are getting right now we'll see the second so anyway the second one is m plus p right so even using um, the the second one you don't need to check right because even anything you will go again in the same flow you will get m cross p but now let's check either or case will come or not so m cp is what mcp is m greater than p and m plus p is what m plus this is greater than or equal to p correct and this actually what you are getting is this p so by so this will not follow the answer will be 4 right but what how can you get either one or two in this case so if if by chance forget about this question by chance if you got m is p and maybe you got m equals to p so if these two you are getting here in the con state conclusion then you can say yeah so don't need to stretch more much on either or case but just think when you are getting neither of them is following so just need to check by uh, this kind of thing so what 